Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about leads off of third base. We saw it in the World Series the other night. Uh, guys got doubled off on a, on a ground ball to the shortstop. They got doubled off on a play here on a rundown, and then the run, base runner from second base got thrown out trying to take third. So I'll see a lot of young players, they're afraid to take a lead off of third base. So the easiest way to teach them how far off the bag to get is we wanna get just about as far as the third baseman is away from the base, okay? We don't wanna be in here if the, if the third baseman's back. And the reason we don't wanna do that is because on a, on a contact play, or if we're breaking to the plate on a ball that's hit to the infield, we don't have a good primary and we're not gonna have a good secondary lead going home. So we're gonna be here, we're getting our sign from our third base coach, and then we're gonna take a peek at our third baseman. And as far as that third baseman's off the bag is about how far I wanna get off the base. Now, the pitcher's in, in the stretch position. When he goes to deliver the ball to home plate, our footwork, is gonna, we're gonna take a crossover step with our left foot and we're gonna plant on our right foot. The reason we get into this position is we're in an athletic position to make a move back to third on a back pick. We'll see a lot of young players, they do this and they get to this position. If that catcher tries to pick you off here, you're dead. Okay, so we wanna make sure we're athletic. I'm as far off the base as my third baseman. Pitcher delivers the ball to home plate. I'm going left, right, and now I'm in a position where I can either break to home plate on a ball that's hit or I can get back to the base athletically. 